Hey, it's Vance here from Metro Hobbies, and today I am super excited to show you a couple of new cars that, just, that have just turned up from Traxxas. Uh, we've got these little hot rods which look absolutely fantastic, so let's crack the box open and see what you actually get inside with one of these. Okay, so once you crack the box open and you get everything out, you are going to be greeted with this. Of course, you're going to get uh, you know, one of the cars fully assembled and ready to go. Uh, you're going to get a bag of goodies and, of course, you've got the radio. Now, we'll start with the radio, actually, because it is a fairly common radio. This radio has been around for years. Uh, if, you are from, if you've owned any Traxxas vehicles over the last almost, I don't know, seven or eight years, maybe a bit longer than that, you probably would have had your hands on hands on one of these. Uh, nice radio, come, you know, uh, you need four double A's to uh, work it, so it's pretty standard. Uh, good feel in the hand, very ergonomic as well, the way it's designed. Uh, it's got a set button on top here. There are various different variations of these uh, particular radios depending on the Traxxas vehicles that you get. Uh, some, of them, some of them will have uh, two buttons up top, some of them will have additional switches, uh, but essentially these radios are actually pretty good. Uh, good range on them, no collapsible antennas to break off, so they actually work quite well. Popping that to the side, uh, we move on to the baggy contents. We've got a, a couple of little tools here, so we have uh, some Allen keys and we've got a little cross wrench to tuck take wheels off and so forth. We also have a speed pinion in here. Now, usually you install this when you want to do like little speed runs or you've got a nice clean road to really run this on. They give you some spare body pins on here as well, which is a really good addition. It's always good to have spare body pins. And then of course, you've got your usual uh, kind of, uh, you know, adverts and so forth, uh, lift outs. And then you've also got a user manual. Now, the user manual does have basic uh, setup information in here. Uh, but if you do want some additional info, exploded views or anything a bit more technical, be sure to check out the Traxxas website. They have a really good uh, website where you can find all this type of info on there. Of course, we'll put a link in the video description for you if you want to check that out. So moving on to the main event, we've got the cars themselves. Now, you've got the sedan here, which comes in this beautiful candy red color. It's also available in a blue. And then, of course, you also have the ute which comes in this really nice, gorgeous gray or silver, but there's also a red color with this as well. Um, and they're all very well detailed. Both cars are actually, they look fantastic. Uh, the candy red in the sedan is just absolutely gorgeous. It's got this darker tone going on top of the car. And uh, it's, they're really nicely finished as well. Very simple, but well finished. You've got this beautiful chrome grille. You've got the headlights on the front here. Got some little mirrors on there as well. And then of course, you've got the uh, whole back end, which kind of tapers down. And, uh, and finishes the whole body off. Now you'll notice that there are two body pins on the back of the cars, but there are no body pins on the front. And it's a really clever way that uh, Traxxas have actually done this uh, to fit the bodies on. It's the same rule with the ute body. There are no body pins on the front, but you can see that there are a couple on the back there um, just to uh, hold the body in place. And essentially the way this works, I'll take it out of this uh, little guy here. Uh, they're actually fairly easy to remove as well, so which is nice, you don't have to um, you know, break your nails or anything like that. Uh, lift the back of the body up. So you just lift it up and just push or slide it forward and it comes off really nice and easy. Now you'll notice as well that they've already got some LEDs installed in these bodies. There's a little kind of uh, cage here or a little uh, plastic bracket that hooks on to the front of the car. So you'll see they've got tiny little shocks on the front there and it hooks onto the front lip of the car. And you've also got some rear LED lights hooked up on this guy as well. Uh, the mirrors are also bolted on, so they're not sticky taped on or anything like that. They actually got a little screw holding everything in place, which is quite nice. Uh, and yeah, your LEDs are already working and all that, so you just have to plug them in to the plug that's supplied in the car. So we'll put the body over to the side really quickly, and let's focus on the cars themselves. Now, the cars for both the ute and the sedan uh, are identical underneath. It's just that the way, obviously, the bodies are done, they're, they're a little bit different. So you've got, uh, starting off with the tires, these are nice, uh, you know, road treaded tires. Uh, you've got chunkier ones on the back, which is really nice, which really tubs it out and makes it look a little bit tougher. And you've got slightly skinnier ones on the front there. Uh, and then of course, you, as I said, you've got the little shocks on the front, which actually work quite well uh, for these little guys. They're actually quite small shocks, which are, uh, are really nice and cute. Uh, you've got brake caliper details behind the wheels on both front and rear, uh, which is a, a nice little addition there. They didn't have to do that, but it's nice that they've actually included that. And then, of course, you've got the, the entire uh, chassis layout just here. So you've got a very generous battery tray for some extra long 
uh, batteries if you want to get some you know really nice long run time out of these vehicles uh, you've got these huge battery trays with the foam block on the front here you can remove that if you have even extra long batteries um, you got your waterproof steering servo on the front here you've got uh, your receiver box just there your standard xl5 esc is just there and of course you've got your tw uh, titan 12 turn motor on the back uh, that matches up to your spur gear and so forth which has a little super clutch behind it um, drive shafts on these guys are metal they are not the plastic drive shafts that you're probably used to seeing in uh, like your rustlers and your bandits and so forth so they are using uh, metal drive shafts which is quite nice and then of course you've got fixed uh, steering and camber links all the way around uh, because there's really not a lot of tuning to be done on these cars it's just uh, you know they're just sort of cars that you sort of muck around in your in your garage or your car park or what have you very nice clean chassis underneath as well uh, really nice low center of gravity on these guys they should handle quite nicely uh, for what they are um, and of course uh, yeah that's pretty much the uh, the Traxxas um, Fortec chassis with these uh, that come with these little hot rod cars absolutely fantastic looking vehicles I am really impressed and this is coming from a guy that's not much of a Traxxas guy but these ones here have really blown me away Traxxas have done a, a really nice job with these if I can get that back on there we go so uh, they are fantastic looking vehicles and uh, yeah I'm really keen to even take one of these out for a drive someday okay so that wraps up this unboxing of the new Traxxas hot rods that we've got here at the store uh, beautiful additions to the Traxxas lineup and uh, I think these are actually going to go like hotcakes uh, out there as well so uh, fantastic looking vehicles be sure to check them out here at the box hill store or check them out online on our website of course we'll have links in the video description for you that is it from me thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please be sure to hit that thumbs up button before you go don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and as always i'll be speaking to you all next time